Check out this house right here. Miami Beach Homes, crazy. Here's a slingshot. So this is the new plaza they just built. It's a pedestrian plaza. And it connects with Collins Park, which is just outside of the museum. <laughs> I just have to find somewhere to leave this bike. Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna go check out the Bass Museum. Not sure if it's pronounced Bass or Bass, but it's a contemporary art museum here in Miami Beach. Before we make our way inside the museum, we're gonna explore a park called Collins Park, which is directly outside the museum. This is a very relaxing park. It's filled with green spaces. It's literally a block from Miami Beach, like the sand park. And it's it's got a little bit of artwork outside. I'll show you guys. This is a colorful bench, one of many that people can sit on as they bird watch, people watch, or just relax and enjoy their afternoon. This looks like a nice garden here and a walkway that literally leads straight to the beach. If you just head down that way, you're at the beach. If you're a fan of flowers, there is no shortage of beautiful flowers here. The cool thing about Miami Beach is no matter where you are, you can take the bus anywhere. It's such an easy and useful transportation system. different art installations out here which is free to everybody just walk around the park there's a statue there's a stack of rocks which you guys saw there's also this cool thing your mama's voice in the back of your head 2020 and there's actually a speaker here so i'm assuming it's my mom's voice in the back of my head you can see the, the wiring and where the speakers are all around oh cool it's in different languages that thing just said, get your ass up and go. <laughs> Hope you guys can hear it. This right here is a giant tree smack in the middle of the park. One of several that are carved with people's initials, hearts, and names, I'm guessing. There's one that says Luke down there. Got a big part here. The entrance of the art museum says eternity now. We are gonna make our way inside now. All right in the entrance, they have this cool photo up. What happened? You can walk on it. Oh, like I can stand on it? You can stand on it. Oh, okay. Thank you, I wasn't sure. It's a dance floor with the Mandela in the middle. Oh, cool. It's a passport between this world and the next. Let me get a picture. like a top-down view of Miami Beach. We got the mansion over there. This is looks like a hurricane. <laughs> Here's a bunch of mirrors. They're called travel mirrors. So they have a dining area and this is it and they have the Ocean Drive magazines pretty much on every table and of course art as the centerpiece. Uh, just gonna have a water bottle. That's it. Yes. So we just left the museum and it was pretty cool, pretty small. I didn't expect it to have like paintings and stuff. I thought it was just gonna be like modern art, which sometimes doesn't make sense to me, but it was really cool. I was in and out in about like 25, 30 minutes. And uh, I think it's worth it if you can find a way to get in free. Which I'm gonna let you in on a little secret on how to get free admission. If you're a Bank of America card holder, that is debit or credit card. Every first weekend of the month, you guys have access to a lot of museums, free admission to those, and this is one of them. You can be an EBT card holder, meaning you receive food stamp benefits, or a Miami Beach resident. So they'll ask for your ID as proof, or your EBT card, and you're in free. Otherwise, if you're an adult, it's $15 to get in. We are now going to make our way back to our bike rental and head on home. 
right, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a tour of the Bass Museum here in Miami Beach. I think it's a pretty low key museum, but if you wanna know more about it, the link is in the description. I'm gonna go head home now. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Ooh, it's pretty windy. And hit that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you. You guys will not believe what this bike's basket just did to my camera. It's my fault, but. I kept it laying in there and I guess the metal piece had it jumping around and every little bump was just adding more to the camera's body. Jesus Christ. Well, smash that like button for the effort, I guess. <laughs>